Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll talk about essential drug list. These essential drugs which can satisfy the priority needs of the population in the community level or here we can say that subcenter. These drugs are cost effective, safe and obviously it will be benefited for all the people that will come under the subcenter population. So today I'll cover all these contents. How to maintain stock register at HWC or subcenter, essential drug names that uses of essential drugs. So guys, now I'll show how to maintain stock register. Suppose any of the CHOs they have indent some medication as per the essential drug list. So they have to make some column. So at first at the above of the column you have to write name of the drug. Suppose I have indent pentoprazole, so I will write the name of the drug here. Then I can write the serial number, then date, the date when I have indent the medication, then from where I have received the medication, then the amount. The pharmacist they will give some amount as per the population or as per the availability of the drugs. So during the time of indent only, I will get the amount. So I will write in the amount column. Then the batch number, the batch number it is available. So for showing the batch number, I have taken one vitamin B complex syrup. So I will show you all that in this bottle, you will find the batch number. Though it is blur, then you can find the manufacture date as well as the expiry date itself in the medicine. So after writing manufacture date, batch number, expiry date, you can also write the date of issue. Generally the date of issue you need to put at the end of the month. So at the end of the month you will obviously calculate how much amount you have given to the patient. And obviously as you are given to the patient. Generally the date of issue we used to put or we used to calculate at the end of the month. So as I have indent my medication on 21st February 2022. So after one month only I will calculate how much uh, medications are still left in my subcenter how much medications i have given to the patients so total my medication was 1000 tablets during the time of indent and after providing the number of tablets to the patients so as i have given 50 tablets in the entire month to the patients who are in need so my balance will be from the original amount that is 1000 tablets and the tablets I have given to the patients that is the issue amount 50 so I will subtract 1000 minus 50 so the remaining amount will be the balance amount that is 950 950 tablets are still available in the subcenter so at last column is the remark or signature column so in the remark column you can write 950 tablets are still available in the subcenter and 50 amount you have provided to the patient who are in need on the behalf of subcenter also you can provide signature as a CHO on the particular date then similarly the other drugs names also you can write like this you have to put heading name of the drug suppose I have Indian paracetamol so similarly you can write the date of Indian then from where you have received the medication then amount how much you have received then batch number then manufacture date and expiry date you will get in the tablet or syrup itself and the date of issue you will calculate at the end of the month and how much tablets you have provided to the patient and on behalf of the subcenter you can write in the issue amount and balance you can calculate from the original amount and you can subtract the amount you have provided to the patient so 1000 minus 50 so the remaining amount will be in stock will be 950 so this is all about the maintenance of medicine stock register at your own subcenter level so you all can maintain this way so now coming for the list of essential drugs for subcenter so there are overall total 24 drugs that should be available in the subcenter level so ORS powder, secondly tablet zinc sulfate 20 mg, thirdly tablet iron folic acid 45 mg and fourthly 100 mg. 
then syrup iron folic acid tablet folic acid 5 mg solution vitamin a tablet trimetoprim and sulfamethoxazole number 9 trimetoprim 40 mg and sulfamethoxazole tent tablet methyl ergometrin then tablet 11 paracetamol then 12 injection methyl ergometrin tablet 13 albendazole 14 tablet diclomine 15 lotion benzyl benzoate 16 ointment povidin iodine 17 ciprofloxacin tablets or i ointment then injection gentamicin injection oxytocin injection magnesium sulfate 21 tablet misoprostol 22 number capsule amoxicillin or amoxiclef then tablet metronidazole and 24 number is the syrup paracetamol So now I'll discuss about different uses of these essential drugs. So first I'll discuss about ORS powder. So ORS powder it is helpful for the persons who are suffering from diarrhea. Most diarrhea related deaths in children are due to dehydration and thus ORS powder it will prevent diarrhea as well as prevent the children who are suffering from dehydration. Next essential drug is tablet zinc sulfate 20 mg. So it is also useful in diarrhea. It is also used as immunity booster and also help in wound healing process. Next tablet is iron folic acid tablets. So it is used to treat or prevent low blood levels of iron, especially anemia during the time of pregnancy. Iron is generally absorbed on an empty stomach, usually taken one hour before or two hours after meals. But if some patient they are suffering from some kind of stomach upset, they can take the medication along with food some products are needed to be avoided during the time of consumption of iron like antacids tea coffee and dairy products product. folic acid also it prevent folate deficiency anemia it helps to develop unborn baby's brain and spinal cord also it prevents the newborn baby from neural tube defect next essential drug is vitamin a it is important for normal vision the immune system and reproduction skin cell production and protection from any kind of infection next drug i would like to discuss is cotrimoxazole tablets generally the cotrimoxazole tablets it comprises of trimetoprim that is 80 mg and sulfamethoxazole cotrimoxazole tablets are used in urinary tract infection prostatitis infection respiratory tract infection typhoid infection bacterial diarrheal diseases dysentery and pneumonia So guys this is all about some essential drugs uses so other essential drugs uses i'll be discussing in my next part so hope you all guys will cooperate me and will provide your valuable feedback in my comment section if you are having any doubt also you can comment down in the comment section below thank you guys for watching this video hope this video will help all the community health officers out there working in health and wellness center so till then Take care and goodbye.